has the same kind of effect that like NASCAR does. It's just kind of mesmerizing. Like, yeah. You can just sit there and just kind of watch it happen. It's not thoroughly entertaining. I've done the but... same thing. I've watched soccer and just been like, they're going up and down, and I feel like somebody is sending me some kind of subliminal message about Pepsi products or something. <laughs> it's just, soccer exists only for the advertisers. <laughs> it's been a yeah. 150 year old conspiracy. I don't know what it is. So, moving on, we will talk to Cordial Roy in a few minutes, I believe. We will hear from them. And it's a boy for Snooky. Can you believe it? Do you, did you know that, Troy? The breaking news. It's a boy. It's alive? It's <laughs> Yes, it's alive. It's it's going to be very alive. Oh, it's um, not alive yet. Yeah, it's not alive yet, but it will be alive. And I'm just, you know what? I'm thankful it's not going to be another little whore like her. You know, so that's why I'm glad. Well, that's why I'm glad it's a boy. You never know these days. Get your clothes off? That's what he does. Takes his clothes off every time he's on a camera, so we can't do that here. Get arrested. Breaking news. Ratings just jumped 30%. <laughs> let's go Let's go take a look at the, uh, when you're looking at uh, demographics. There we go. Let's go look at the demographics. A lot of people from Thailand just chimed in. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Thailand and New York, strangely enough. All right, fair enough. Oh, God. Snooki, Snooki will soon have a new man in her life. The Jersey Shore star is expecting a baby boy. That's just great. You know what? Thank God it's not a girl, though, because imagine her with a girl, like, dressing her up and getting her all slutty by the time she's, like, nine. You know, she's going places with, like, makeup on and just looking like a, a sloppy mess. You know that? Well, here's the problem. Just because it's a boy, I'm thinking that, you know, still might happen. Really? Does that make it worse? I think that might make it worse. What if Snooky had a gay child, like they, and he was like real flamboyant? That could be cool, right? Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I don't know. It, can you? How early can you gel a baby's hair? However early it is, they're probably going to be doing it way too early than that. I don't know. I I guess you could do it any time. I think we've even gelled my two and a half year old's hair before. So, you know, but Snooky, man. Snooky is one crazy woman. Life's very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books. I'm a man who discovered the wheel and built the Eiffel Tower out of metal and bronze. That's what kind of man I am. You're just a woman with a small brain. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my Snooky. That's Ron Burgundy's description of Snooky, as far as I'm leather concerned. Leather-bound books and leather-bound suckers. Probably one of my favorite quotes from the movie. In- insane, insanely, um, um, feminists are like, their heads are exploding when they hear that. You know? <laughs> so, I want to thank... For the success. I want to thank... I want to thank A80. Speaking of um, uh, females for coming on the show tonight, that was a pretty cool interview. I, I enjoyed that. That was... Uh, we went, you know, 45 minutes or something like that with, with her... And, um, well, that sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. We talked to her about her music is what happened. Yeah, I do. <laughs> when, when Yahoo TV caught up with uh, the mom-to-be Snooky, she talked about uh, she talked to us about her pregnancy cravings, says she couldn't get enough fruits, jelly, and Italian ices. Imagine if she had only Fruit? just... Imagine if she only stuck to fruits, jelly, and Italian ices. Maybe she wouldn't be, uh, look like a giant... Overgrown jelly bean. I don't know. I wonder how many sangria she had. 